Welcome to Isla del Sol, a beautiful island located on the Bolivian side of Lake Titicaca, the highest lake in the world. According to Incan lore, Isla del Sol is the birthplace of the sun god. And now I welcome you to join me exploring this beautiful island. Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. Currently I am not feeling the best, but we are on our way to Isla del Sol. For the past few hours we've been sitting on a bus and now we didn't really understand what's going on, but we think we have to get on a boat because the road ended. So we're taking the bus to Copacabana and then from there we still need to take a boat to the island. But it seems like also in order to get to Copacabana you need to take a boat, which I wasn't aware of. I think this is where we buy the boat tickets. It's supposed to be two Bolivianos per person. This is kind of fun, somehow, <laughs> to have to suddenly get on a boat. We have made it to the other side, but I must say, whilst feeling not so great, that boat ride didn't... <laughs> Definitely didn't help and we still now need to drive with the bus for a while and then we still need to take another boat ride. I hope I will survive that. Fingers crossed. town of Copacabana and what I've understood what a lot of people also do is that they stay here and then they do like a day tour to Isla del Sol and stuff like that. We decided instead of staying here we're gonna stay on the island directly and yeah we managed to buy some boat tickets and soon we'll be jumping on the boat on our way to Isla del Sol. I hope I won't start feeling sick like I don't normally feel seasick almost ever but it's just right now because I'm already already feeling a bit hmm, that I'm a bit more sensitive to everything basically I'm kind of excited to go to an island where there's no traffic there's no motor vehicles there apparently it's very calm after being in La Paz for quite a few days it's nice to go right in the middle of nature and just relax and be in a bit more of a calm place. So yeah, looking forward to that. We're on the boat now. You could have sit in like upstairs outside, which looks really, really nice. Normally I would sit there, but with my current condition, I think it's better to sit downstairs with proper seats. Let's hope it's a smooth ride. This is what the boat looks like from the inside. We have a ride to Isla del Sol and the first thing we see is a bunch of donkeys. <laughs> so yeah, like I mentioned, there's no motored vehicles. The only way to get around on this island is by foot, maybe bicycle or by donkey or by boat. So you can either stay on the south side or the north side. We've decided to stay on the south side because this side has like more hotels and restaurants and stuff. We'll be uh, exploring the north side as well. I'm a bit out of breath because we're at 4,000 meters high up in altitude, so quite high up. We have now checked in to our hotel and we got a free upgrade. We had originally booked something with a shared bathroom, but like a private room. But the lady said that it's gonna be very cold in the night. So using the shared bathroom won't be very pleasant. So she gave us an upgrade to a room with a private bathroom instead. So then we don't have to go outside in the middle of the night. So that's very nice. Here's our room, it's a bit random because we have three beds and we're just two people. I don't mind, and uh, let me show you the view. This is our view from our room. Isn't that beautiful? I'm really happy with it. We now came for some lunch right next to the restaurant that's by our hotel. It seems like there is like a town here, but I believe in order to get to the town, you have to climb all the way up the hill. 
so I think we'll do that a bit later. And yeah, we're sitting here right by the water. It's really nice. We have a view of a bunch of donkeys over there. <laughs> Life's good. Well, I knew it, but still I'm somehow a bit surprised is that it's actually quite chilly here, especially now in the evening. Had to pull out my gloves and uh, what are these called? Ear warmers. And yeah, we're now gonna go and visit the little town that's basically close to where we are. Our hostel is like by the port instead of in the town, but apparently it's quite a climb to get there. So I don't necessarily mind that our hostel is by the port, so we didn't have to carry all our luggage up to the town. But yeah, we're gonna go and check out what it looks like and let the uphill climb to the town begin. I can imagine if you live here, you are in great shape. Looks much less steep on the camera than what it actually is. Okay, I'm coming to a realization that walking up to this town was maybe not the best idea while still being a bit sick. So I've been having these like weird stomach cramps and today it's been a bit better. But now when I started doing this, they kind of came back and I want to be in good shape for tomorrow when we're actually going to do a hike. So maybe it would be a better idea to rest. The views are nice though. Very, very pretty. Okay, I think we came to the conclusion that we're gonna visit the town instead tomorrow. We are just about to go to bed. And as I said earlier, it's quite chilly. And also our room, I don't think there's any kind of heating. It's basically just isolated, insulated. What's the word? I don't know, but it's not very warm in this room. But we do have a lot of blankets. There's one blanket, two blanket, three blanket, four, five. Five blankets and a sheet so <laughs> hopefully this will keep me warm during the night i don't know it's kind of cozy in some way but yeah we're gonna watch some series relax and go to bed soon and yeah we have a bit of issues because apparently it used to be that you could take easily a boat from the south part to the north part of the island and then you know you can hike back because if you hike back and forth it's quite a long hike but we were told that's not the case anymore that you could only take a private boat which is much much more expensive but we do know there's a lot of boats passing by that are going to the north so we're just gonna go down to the pier with some money and hope someone will take us and yeah we'll see how it goes that's a problem for tomorrow i'll say good night and see you tomorrow morning we managed to sleep pretty well despite it being cold but it was warm underneath all those blankets and yeah it's so peaceful here like especially after coming from La Paz where it was quite you know loud being in a big city here you can only hear like the birds and the waves and the wind and otherwise it's like silent it's really nice oh i don't know why my cheeks are so red but um i've been editing for a little bit and soon we're about to embark on a hike and it does seem like in order to get to the north from the south part um the boats don't take you apparently you would have to take a private boat but the guy who works at here at the commendation just had a conversation with Rol. you could hike from here apparently the toughest part is what we did yesterday halfway up is hiking up to the village and then apparently it gets easier so i think in total usually the hike is about, supposed to take about three hours when you do like from one side to the other but now if we basically do back and forth it should be about six hours but probably even more if we want to take it a bit slow but yeah i think that's what we're gonna try and do so Wish us luck. I think it will be a very, very beautiful hike. Well, 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 we meet again. It's much, much, much more steeper than what it looks like on the camera, I can tell you guys. We have now reached the spot where we were yesterday. I'm kind of hoping we're like halfway. 
The thing is, it's not the climbing necessarily. It's the climbing at these altitudes. Even though we've been, we've been in Bolivia for a while, somehow, like I don't know, get headaches or anything like that anymore, but I still get so out of breath, even for walking up the hill for a little bit. It's crazy. I thought we were halfway. We just met some uh, fellow travelers going downwards and they said at least still 30 minutes left. Crazy. I am so happy. Our accommodation is by the port. If I would have had to walk this up with all of my stuff, I would not be on this planet Earth anymore. I think I would have, I would have diseased. I would be gone. A donkey? Hello, donkey. No idea if we're almost at the top, but the views from here are breathtaking. So beautiful. Can't imagine people living in this town, going up and down every single day. It's crazy. We have made it to the top part. And um, before we start the actual hike, we decided to stop for a little bit and I'm gonna have something to drink and we can use the bathroom and stuff. And look at the view of this restaurant. Amazing. And what you see over there in the distance is actually Peru. We are now continuing our hike. A bit lost maybe because we want to do this trail called the Vilka Taki and everywhere it said is really easy there's signs everywhere but in reality the route just kind of stops <laughs> in the middle of nowhere and it seems like you need to climb over some mountains to continue and yeah the guy at our hostel said it's supposed to be really easy once you're up top and yeah he said it should be easy and take two hours but we just met some people and they said it's no it's more like three hours and that it's quite tough we're just gonna walk as long as we can and as long as we have energy for. I would say if you wanna see the whole island and do the proper hike at the moment because of the boats, I would say the easiest way is actually to stay in Copacabana and then do like a day trip here and take the boat to the north and then take the boat back from the south. I don't get whose idea it is that there's no, like there's a boat that goes from south to north when they're dropping off people coming from Copacabana but for some reason you can't get on that boat if you're already in the south it, I don't know it doesn't make any sense for me somewhere I read there has been a bit of dispute between the south part and the north part of the island regarding like tourism and who gets the money for what and that kind of stuff so I'm thinking maybe that's the reason why yeah a bit of a silly system i must say but yeah we're gonna continue our hike now and see if we can find the route again okay we believe that over there is the route but the question is how do we get there because now we're much much higher up than what that route is and i don't know how how we're supposed to get there i think we might have gone wrong that's what i think but we're gonna try and find a way down we have found a slightly sketchy route but at least it is a route. We have been accompanied by a dog. Maybe it'll show us the way. This is a bit of a scary spot. Might have to do the butt technique. Oh, oh. oh. oh no, it is muddy here. Oh no. We have made it back on the actual path. Yay! This 
dog is really following us even now when we stopped the dog came running back and now it's just chilling with us <laughs> so that's quite fun I do feel like now after walking for many hours that I'm getting more used to the altitude and even when walking uphill it's not as deathly anymore even though I do still sound very out of breath but I feel less bad it doesn't feel like I want to puke anymore and look at these views it's it's amazing You can see Chalapampa. That's the northern town of this island. So you could also stay in a hotel there or if you want to do the hike as a day trip and only hike one way then you would take the boat to that port and then walk back basically. We are almost at the end of the route but we still have to walk back but um, I'm sure we can do it. Almost there. In the beginning I didn't think we would make it to be honest so quite proud of us. have reached almost the end of the island. The island ends over there. We can see the ruins from a distance. They don't look very special and it's quite a steep downhill. So I think we're gonna end our trail here and start walking backwards because yeah it's quite quite a way. We, we, do, we can see the tip of the island so I would like to say that this counts as us walking from the south part to the north part. Let the walk back begin. I can't wait to have something to eat. We're gonna stop by the town where we started from. We're currently walking back and the tiredness is starting to hit. But look over there in the distance. That's our destination. We can already see it. Almost there. <laughs> I can't believe it that we have actually made it back. Well, we're now in like the town that's close to us. Oh man, I understand why most people only do the hike one way. Like that's the normal way of doing it. Doing it both ways is quite hardcore. Luckily, we have a really beautiful view here from this restaurant. Oh man, what a day. And we've completely burnt ourselves as well in the face, which is not very good. Currently going down the last hill, almost there. Just kidding, we still have the stairs up to the hostel. <gasps> I'm so dead. We have made it back to our accommodation. I just took a quick shower. I feel so good now to be sitting on the bed. I'm not gonna do anything today anymore. I should actually be doing some editing, but It'll be a problem of future Yannicka as well. I'm so tired, but we did it. But it was quite a hike. According to my phone, the hike was 21.4 kilometers long. And that is going up and down in high altitudes, like not just walking straight, like, like this on gravel roads and stuff. And I did do the mistake that I forgot to put sunscreen on my face and now I've managed to burn my nose <laughs> and my cheeks. Luckily I had a hood and the bandana thing, so I was able to protect my forehead a bit. What are you laughing? <laughs> Really red. Yeah, you're also really red though. <laughs> We're gonna do nothing today, so I'm also not gonna film anymore today. So, see you tomorrow. Good morning. Oh my goodness, yesterday, can I have some cream on? But I have burned my nose and my cheeks so badly. It's kind of embarrassing. It looks so bad, I look a bit like a clown. 
luckily it's only this and most of my body and my forehead and stuff was protected but um yeah don't forget your sunscreen kids especially if you do a hike like this one even it, it's not warm here and when we left it was like kind of raining and it didn't seem like it would be bad but it was so yeah we have just checked out from our accommodation and we bought a boat ticket back to Copacabana and from there we will be taking a bus to Peru today which I'm super excited about currently we are waiting for our boat and this time I'm feeling better so I think I'm gonna try and sit on the top deck if possible and then I could enjoy the beautiful Lake Titicaca views on the way we are on the boat 